Hi there, my name is Evan Roberts and this is a common issue on Baldwin's. Unfortunately, they used a, f a false leather on the back of the, on the catcher here and they used, also used a false leather on the, the hammer butt. So a lot of these pianos are out there in the wild or in the, in houses and it clicks. If you hear a clicking noise on a Baldwin, it could be the jack is hitting here. When the jack hits, let's say this piece of wood is a jack, which is not, it's not, it can click on the back of here. So what we're gonna do, I've tried replacing the leathers, but it's a big, big job. So what we're doing is we bought a pack of hammer butts and we're cutting off the bridle strap because they're too short. And the other ones, the original ones are longer than this. The original ones are coming all the way out to here and the new ones are coming up to, we have to shorten it too much. So what we're gonna do is just pop off, cut off the bridle strap Put a new one in the cork one which is quite easy to install the good thing is it has a hole for a cork one and then we'll reinstall here's one that we've done so this is one that i haven't glued in yet but the height is exactly the same so all we've had to do is change the barrel strap and now once the hammer is installed the um we're going to have to align the hammer to the string so we'll just show you one i'll pop one off so this is one that we've got here. This one's hard. So we're gonna put this collar on here, which is a hammer kind of extraction collar. And then I've got this handy tool, which you don't have to screw. You just pop it off with one stroke. So I'm gonna put it at the end here, if I can. And then we're gonna pop it off. Now the hammer, shank and the hammer came off together if it's really tight you want to make sure the glue is a bit loose but in this case it's fine now that's the hammer and there's the shank now the hammer butt we're going to throw it away in the trash and then we're going to put a new one on i'll just show you a new one here now we're going to glue we glue in with wood glue here or or hide glue maybe i think wood glue would be better and then try and align it keep make sure the height's even on all of them we're doing them staggered to give us the chance to check so once this is glued in make sure there's extra glue on the top so you have a collar and align it to the string kind of align it to the other hammers and then once you've finished drying you're going to align it with a flame to make sure everything's aligned to the string correctly and you have a new leather and you have a new catcher leather as well and the new felts obviously and even a new flange it's much faster we're probably going to do this in a whole day and rather than, I think I did re-gluing, it took me like two and a half days to do. And even then the, the leather that was sold uh, was too big. So we've had issues with regulation. This is probably just much better, much quicker. I think it's $220 for a new hammer butts. It's expensive and the labor is gonna take you a day. So you gotta make sure that you, um, you calculate for those things. Anyway, thanks very much. And my name is Evan, thanks and see you soon. Bye-bye.